Hi, good afternoon. This is Suzanne Lynch with 85234.com, your community connection. We're out and about in the community again this afternoon, and I am visiting with Jim Shorey at Shorey Auto Repair uh, near uh, Power and Baseline. And we are just uh, following up with him, uh, talking with him to see uh, a little bit about him, his experience, what he has to offer here at his auto repair shop. Jim, I appreciate again being Thank with you. you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, and tell us a little bit about you and about your service and what you can offer to our 85234 folks. We're a family owned and operated business. Okay. Um, my wife, Amber, which uh, a lot of people in the community know my wife, Amber. Okay. She's here about half the time, uh, helping me run the actual business itself. So we're family owned and operated. We're here locally in the community. Okay. Um, what we're striving for is a high quality repair shop. Great. Um, there's lots of different repair shops out there. What we try and strive for is providing that repair that we do it right and we do it right the first time. Okay. And we're not necessarily interested in a sale today because Amber and I are trying to build, we're going to be here for probably the next 20 plus years. So we've got three young kids that I ideally- I saw the pictures on the wall, wonderful. <laughs> that ideally are going to go to college and a couple of them are going to get married hopefully. Uh, depending on how things go, but um, we're pretty excited about that. So we've got a long, we're just not here for the short term. Amber and I are here for the long term and we want to be involved. So part of that is building a good reputation, good mm -hmm. report with the area, and, uh, and doing good work so people get referrals back to you. Correct. And, yes, okay, and working with other businesses. Correct. Yes, and I also noticed that you're also involved in the community in a couple of different projects as Correct. well. Correct. Okay. Um, I'm a veteran, I'm an Air Force veteran. I served back in the early 90s. I did not realize that. Well, uh, thank you so for your service. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we're involved with Packages from Home, which is actually a locally based charity here, uh, helping support troops that are still deployed because there are still a few folks in Afghanistan. And so we're a drop-off location for Packages from Home, Wonderful. and they're building care packages basically for troops that are still actively deployed. And then we're also involved with Helping Hands for Single Moms, and that's a charity that's um, helping single moms get their college degree. Okay. And what their goal is, is to make them self-supportive. Okay. So they've statistically found that if uh, a single mom gets her college degree, that she's more likely to stay self-sufficient and not dependent on welfare. Wonderful. That's a couple of great um, groups that you're involved with. And so it's nice to talk with someone who's involved in the community as well um, and that supports local things that are going on. And I didn't realize you were a vet, so again, thanks for your service. That's no problem. Wonderful. So what else can you tell us just quickly about what you do here as far as you do all kinds of repairs? We do. Makes, models? Yes, we repair all cars. Okay. Um, our specialty is more um, Asian cars and domestic cars. Okay. We do, we will service uh, European cars. However, we're, that's not our specialty. Okay. So someone can come into you with their car, talk to you about their situation. Exactly. You can tell them what you can do. And yeah, we do everything. I love okay. to do oil changes on cars. Sure. Because what I'm really about is helping each individual understand where their car's at sure. and helping them maintain it for the long term. Okay, so kind of their an goals overview are. of what's going to be needed ongoing. And Correct. Good. Okay. Because I'm really big about reducing the total cost of ownership for every single driver. Right. Hopefully if you have some work that needs to be done or you know some other folks that do, um, you'll swing by and talk with Jim. Uh, it's a great shop. I've had work here done in the past and so has my kids. <laughs> so I know they do good work. But uh, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much for your involvement in the community and for letting us come by and visit. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Um, All right. <laughs>